Hi, I am so incoherent so many times. I have been questioned, why do you change your mind like that? In some cases, it was an aggressive question. Like I remember a friend, she says, why do you change your mind so quickly? And I tried to understand the root of that. And I think it is when you're really open-minded, when you're willing to f see the mistakes you're making, uh, being able to change your mind is actually a very good thing. Instead of being set in your ways and not uh, changing for any reason, uh, which would be very stubborn of you and not very adaptive to the to the needs of the day, I think changing your mind shows that you are capable of reflection and thinking, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I was wrong, I am going to do this instead. And so someone called my attention to the fact that once, long ago, I said I wouldn't put a pet through the experience of living with a nomad. And while that to me holds true if you're in a minivan or an SUV or a car, because it is uncomfortable probably for the two of you, for the pet and for you, um, I think being able to change my mind and uh, rescue one life, that little thing that is there, it's not that bad an idea. I mean, if every nomad could go to a shelter and rescue one dog or cat, um, maybe we would be putting some balance in the unfair system that allows people to breed animals like a puppy mill. There are so many poor little animals that suffer so much. So I don't know how to fix it, but I think adopting Lua was one of the big things I did in my life, and it's showing. Uh, we are at three months since I got her, and uh, she has changed my mood significantly. And today I'm going to show you we just tried uh, taking a walk off leash. Well, of course, we're in the middle of nowhere and there are no other campers nearby. And it's the middle of the day, so coyotes are not around and I am there, so I am taking care of that. My fear is that she loves going into the brush and um, there might be snakes or something, I don't know. So I don't like it too much, I lose my mind a little bit. But let me show you what happened. My name is Adriana and this is Many Roads, No Rules. We are conducting an experiment. Lua is off the leash and we are trying to see if she runs away or she behaves. So far she runs a little and she comes back. No. Very good. She tries to smell everything she she finds. We will see if she behaves. She doesn't eat anything. So far she's checking with me. She runs away happy free. <laughs> Lua! Lua! Ven acá! Ven acá! Lua! Ven acá! She doesn't seem to want to come back. I think the experiment is going to fail. Good thing is we're alone here. There are no other dogs, no other distractions. But still, she's getting a little too far away from my comfort. We will see. Lua. Muy bien. Vamos a casa. Vamos. Vamos. 
We're going to try to come back. Yeah, she took the hint. She's coming back. But of course she needs to smell everything. Vamos, Lua! Lua! Vamos! Lua! Vamos! I think if I go to the van, she will try to come with me, I hope. Lua! Pegate! Yeah, it is too much fun for her. Lua! I need to learn how to whistle. Or buy a dog whistle. Lua! Vedi acá! No me hagas ir a buscarte. Vedi acá! She looks at me from behind the tree. Vedi acá! Vedi acá! Vedi acá! Vamos! Vamos! Vedi! She looks so innocent. But she's behaving. That's nice. Maybe we will be able to start taking short walks with her off the leash. My concern is always that there is a snake or something somewhere there. Lua! Vamos! Vení! Vení acá! <laughs> Lua! Vení acá! Now she can stay here with the tie for a little bit more fresh air. Whew, I was really scared. That was a, a big test for me to see if I could trust her and if I didn't faint in the process. So far it was a 9 out of 10, I think. Because she was a little defiant. But very nice. And as you saw, she behaved actually very well. She realized she was free and she would run and jumping, having, having fun. But in the end, when I turned around and I came back to the van, she did come back with me. So she pushes the limits a little bit, but she's still within the limits. Uh, she did something super amazing for me. A week ago, we were in Parump and I took her to the off-leash park that she loves. And she has some... Uh, constant friends there like Willow and Henry and Gus and some other dogs and they have their play mechanic they 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 play the same games all the time Levy was uh, running with a stick in her mouth and all the other dogs were running after her so they have they have a lot of fun there so I brought Lua and uh, all the dogs and their parents were at the end of the park, far, far away. And so I asked them, would you be okay if I leave Lua here for five minutes? Uh, I need to eat something. It was 3 p.m. I hadn't had breakfast, lunch, anything. I was about to faint. And I was a little hungry. So I said, I am going to have a bite and I, I will be back here in five minutes tops. Sure, no problem. So Lua ran to meet with her friends there in the shade of the trees. Beautiful day, beautiful park. So she was very happy. I went in the van and stuffed my mouth with four or five strips of bacon. And I prepared a bottle of water so I could drink some water. And I look outside and I can see the fence to the park and Lua is sitting there waiting for me. In spite of being at her favorite place where she could have been with the other doggies playing like crazy, no, she sat by the fence and she waited for me 
and I get emotional of just thinking of it. Poor thing. So that was a fantastic way to celebrate our three months together. So yes, they do amazing things for us. And you just need to know how to read their reactions. And you're going to be very happy if you read the reactions. So I hope you liked seeing Lua running free. Thank you very much for being here. And please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with someone that may want to adopt a baby and save a life. And see you very soon. Bye.